McDonald's Giraffe. Hello. Now, as you can see, I have put across the cobblestone. Also, when you do so, there will be extra spaces between your cobblestone and your glass. Just go ahead and fill that all up with smooth stone. So it will look uh, nice like this. So now, we have finished our exterior. Amazing. Really nice. That's the exterior of the church done right there. All that work has finally paid off. Now, now that we've done the exterior of the church, we have to do the even more annoying interior of the church. Not that it's annoying, it's just if you're not playing creative, it'll be a kind of hard to get all of the materials. So first inside we need to do the flooring. I usually make my floor out of red carpet and I think it looks really good. But you can I I always make an I haven't seen many people use carpet other than that. I I I suppose that just a different colored plank now that they've introduced colored planks or just a plank floor would be good in a church. I've been to a few churches but usually their floor is a stone, but having even more stone on the floor wouldn't look too good either. So it's kind of hard to find unless you use a different material for a different for a part of the church. Having it as stone would not be wouldn't look too good unless you cover up all the smooth stone with paintings. If you would like to go down that way. So let's begin. We need to. Uh, you can do it again with any any type of floor. I really would. I encourage you to uh, do different things for my church, but uh, use different materials. Maybe do things slightly different, and post a video response perhaps because I'd love to see what some people uh, would like would have done with this church. So we have to dig this all out, this long, long, for a long time, and you fill it up, well, you know, it's your type of flooring. You won't need to dig out the whole of everything, because the uh, bottom of the doorway should, I'd, I'd use uh, two wooden planks, you just cover everything in red wool, but because of the seats, and the seats for people to pray on and the altar at the end you won't need to have all this red wool so at the end of the video you can or at when we have all the seats and the altar then you can count that up see how much you really need because if you're not if you're not, if you're playing on a survival server or just playing survival then it is going to be hard to Obtain it all, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to when this is done. Pumpkinception. Hello. Now I have filled in the bottom with red wool. Now we should begin with the furniture. You'll need uh, steps, half blocks, and uh, normal planks. So. We're gonna start with the altar. So start from two from the back, two from the back, and then on the third one, so two, and then a stair. And you do that likewise on the other side, two, stair, two, stair. Now you fill the place in between them with planks. Around that, coming from these planks, you do a four by four square, so four, one, two, three, four, and four again. You fill that in the middle. Then you raise it and you fill it again, except you leave these two blocks. So the rest, you raise another it up by another level completely, except you have you're missing two you're missing two blocks here. 
and you place stairs here, and above that you put another two stairs. On this block here, on the sides of the lower stairs, you put two half blocks, and then up here, you just raise everything else that around the ladder with a uh, with with blocks, wooden plank blocks, and you put two half blocks on top of that. Usually, I would. And then you do this, but, and, yeah, let's do that for now. In front of the altar, we will put a cross, because everyone loves crosses. So, we put one, two, so, uh, two by two square first, then another two, and two sides coming off it, like so, like a T, and then two above that. That is our cross in front of the altar. And now you come out and you're the archbishop and your server or whatever and you can preach around to players or stuff. I'm not sure but uh, you usually put in two blocks but half blocks here I think would work just as well. Or even do something like this and this can be your table and you can have your book there. We're having an enchanting table here, as if you're reading out something. You, c you could do that too. This this could work. This could work as an alternative. I do like that. I do like that, but we'll stick with the original. Now, I've shown you a few that might be preferable. But we'll just stick with our normal altar. So there we have our altar, but an altar isn't enough if there is no one to preach to. And if there is someone to preach to, they're not gonna be standing. For sure, they're not gonna bother. So, we can make the seats. Now you decide which type of seat, if you want a stair seat, or if you want just a wooden half block bench. I'll create both on both sides. Okay, so from the back front or back front of the church, well this area of the church, you go one, two, three, four, five. Wait, no, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So you have five empty blocks, and then you place a seat. And uh, it's four seats in a row, so you have this going through the middle, and then you skip one line, and you do four again and four again. And you keep doing that until the end. So n now's the time to decide if you... Well, oh right, and there are I th five of these rows, or six. Yeah, enough to that. No, let's make one more. Seven rows. Seven rows of seats. You can sit here, watch them preach. And then you do the same on the other side. But I'll use benches and you can decide which one you like more and do it from the both sides as such. Now, as you can see, this in the night, I, I have my uh, set of video settings up on bright. So this is going to be very dark if you play on moody. And you need to you need to brighten that up a bit so if you're in creative what i usually do is the front line of where everyone is sitting i put glowstone blocks for where they sit and i usually uh, that's what i do i do it for the whole place around the seats or if you don't have access to glowstone i'm then that means that you probably won't gonna aren't gonna use the paintings, so you're go you could just uh, use torches and light up the walls with torches. Also, even if you are using paintings, this place is uh, quite dark even after you've done the glowstone. So putting a few torches here wouldn't be a bad idea. So there, uh, 
if you aren't going to use the painting method, then this is pretty much as the end for you, but if you're going to use uh, paintings on the side, then you, uh, you there will be a, a few changes to the church. But even if you're not going to use paintings, you still uh, you can still watch it. You should still watch it. Just to give a rough idea and give you ideas on churches and just in general and what you can do. And well, I'm not sure if that really helps, but... Oh, never mind. Just, just keep watching. Or don't. I don't care. Do whatever you want. So... Now we have... This is our basic interior, so if you're not gonna do the painting bits, the really complicated bits, then not in creative, in survival, then you can uh, stop watching now. But if you are, aren't in survival and using creative, and you want to have all these paintings, you can understand basically what you're going to have to do, and that is to cover everything with paintings, and that does take a while, but the effect, as you m may have seen in the, well, no, you did see in the introduction video, and it looks a lot better. Everything looks a lot better. So I've I've done a start, and it just looks really good. So there's a problem here uh, at the back. So if you're going to be doing this with the paintings, then you've got a problem. You can't place a painting here. So, if I put paintings on both sides, what I usually do is I create another window slot right here, like this, and on the other side, uh, well, I wouldn't really cover the back with paintings at all, but if you are, you can do the same and have a slit here, and uh, have your paintings over here, and... No, wait, uh, yeah, and have a glass window here. So if you are going to do the painting, you should, uh, that's that's what you're going to do if you're going to do the whole, whole painting. And that is it, I think. I think that's, that's enough to explain the, the church. That, that's finished. And now you are left with a lovely church. Whatever the purpose is, just put on a few doors, maybe put praise the Lord signs on it, and very nice, very nice. That sh that ends our video for today. I think it is. Uh, it's, it's a lovely church, but, you know, hate comments. <laughs> what you gonna do? So now I have two identical churches. Ugh churches. I have two identical churches facing each other. Uh, slightly off, though. So, yeah, that's that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe. You will never miss an episode if you subscribe. If you like these kind of build videos, then cause, uh, because I will be putting out more of these videos, then I'll never miss an episode, always have something to build if you're completely out of ideas, and... So you should subscribe for that reason. Uh, comment, comment, uh... Comments are appreciated. Not hate comments, though. Think, please tell me what you thought of the church, and also, if there's anything you would like me to build. Because I can think of things to build on my own, but... Viewer requests always work better. Uh, they just work better. They're easier for me, and they're easier for you because you get to actually look. Uh, here's the church with the paintings. You get what you want to build. Uh, tutorials. I I will aim to. Oh, never mind. So uh, like like the video, don't, actually, yeah, dis I hate likes, click the dislike button, uh, whatever I do, D uh, likes are my kryptonite, never click on likes, what am I saying, yeah, yeah, reverse psychology there, now, 
uh, like, please. Uh, it helps me, it motivates me, it's what keeps me making videos. That is the end of our video. Goodbye.